Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Since six arrows off this week, Devo Brown and Frank Ferragini with you right now. Good morning, Frankie. Hey, good morning, Devo. Lots going on in the world of sports, yes. of course. Let's start with uh, the unfortunate, yes. sad news. And this is sudden news that people are still trying to figure out and deal yep. with. Uh, you know, I was out around a lot of sports people last night uh, from Sportsnet, and they're shocked by this as well. Brian Marchman, a longtime NHL defenseman, one of the great defensemen as tough well. Tough defensemen. Right? And yeah, former Toronto tough. Maple Leaf. Uh, he's passed away at the age of 53 on Wednesday. He was attending the NHL draft in Montreal as, as a scout, scout yeah. right, for the San Jose Sharks, who just uh, hired Mike Greer. We know that. Uh, cause of death not immediately available. So they're still, you know, kind of withholding that or still trying to figure that out there. But uh, very unexpected. A bit of his career highlights here. 17 NHL seasons from 89 to 2006. Winnipeg, Chicago, Hartford. Yep. Love saying Hartford now. Uh, of course, the uh, yeah, Hartford Whalers, man, that's a while ago. Uh, Edmonton Oilers, Tampa Bay, San Jose, Colorado, Toronto, and Calgary. He signed with the Leafs in 2003, played a season here, 75 games. He had a goal, three points, 106 penalty minutes. So he was a bit of an enforcer. Well, yeah, and they're kind of protecting yeah, some of the stars, right? He's 31st in the NHL for what? 31st for what? You Pen can guess. Penalty, penalty minutes? You got it for yeah. penalty minutes. Uh, but off the ice, a lot of people commenting about his personality off the ice, mm -hmm. how he was a kind soul, always there to help, always there to support. And as you mentioned, 53 years of age in Montreal as a scout. And right now, it's yet you know, nobody really knows in, in the hockey world is shocked. They're completely shocked. And again, you know, majority of the hockey world, especially the executive level, they're in Montreal as the yes. draft is happening tonight is the reason why he was there. Uh, so you can only imagine the conversations they'll be having. And... The stories they'll be telling about him, the great stories I'm sure they'll be telling about him uh, to kind of honor him. So our thoughts, of course, and our condolences going out to his family yeah. uh, in this situation is definitely very, very sad. Um, but as mentioned... Some Leaf it, news too, right? Yeah, so the NHL draft is happening tonight uh, in Montreal. Habs with the first pick. Mm. They've got a lot of work to do, so it should be interesting on how they do that. You can check out that on Sportsnet as well. But the, the Toronto Maple Leafs, we mentioned yesterday... Their preseason schedule. They have announced the regular season schedule, which will kick off with back to back games on Wednesday, October yep. 12th, when they travel to that very city, Montreal. Montreal. And then they'll be returning on Thursday to face the Washington Capitals. So that's your home opener, Thursday, October 13th. Uh, but I like it starting against the Habs, you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's great. It's always good when, a, you know, an original six can start and when two Canadian teams can start the mm -hmm. season. And then playing against Washington as well is always a great team and a great game to watch. Uh, you know, we did go and play against them in the playoffs several years ago and I actually flew to Washington to go watch that game. It was the first time I've ever gone away to watch a game with my kids. It was less expensive to fly to Washington <laughs> to go watch my game than to watch a game here. Yes. Yeah, no shade thrown hey, at all. Yeah. Hey, Jules, is this the year? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays quickly, they Finally. were struggling. Five-game losing streak uh, has come to an end last night or yesterday afternoon, beating the Oakland A's 2-1. Yep. Bobachette hitting a solo shot Ooh, yeah. uh, to get it. That was the first one right there from Chapman to uh, tie up the game at ones. And then you'll see Bobachette. Yeah, look for the hair for Boba Shack. Yeah, eighth inning solo shot. That was the win. Jordan Romano getting the save. There's Bo right there. He knew. There's the hair. He knew at that bat, too. Yeah. He took some big swings at that bat. He was he was looking to go yard the whole time. So, uh, there you go. Jay's back on the winning side of things. Hopefully, they can pick up things. Because in the five-game losing streak, they gave up 11 home runs. And I think they were a minus 20 in runs differential, which is They just not need so to good. find their groove again. Not so good. Yeah. 